Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a declutter of my kitchen. Now I did one of these last year around the same time because it was just before Easter and oh my gosh since then there is so much more stuff that has accumulated in my kitchen. It is awful and all of the cupboards need to be taken out. I'm going to be getting rid of appliances that I no longer need. You know when you just cling on to stuff, so it all needs to be taken out and decluttered. So if you like that kind of thing I would love for you to continue watching. Before I jump into the video, I'm just going to share with you some of the bits I've actually purchased to help with the decluttering and minimalisation. I've actually had these sitting in my dressing room now God, for about two, three months. <laughs> They've been sitting up there for ages and then I brought some of them back and then I had to go and repurchase some bits. I've just been a big mess as to what I was doing with my kitchen. But now I've gone back out, I've got all the items that I need. I'm going to show you how I'm planning to declutter and get this kitchen organised. And I'm also going to show you what my cupboards look like at the moment. But the first things that I picked up were these from Ikea. These are in two different sizes, as you can see here. So you've got the bigger ones and the smaller ones. And I'm going to be using these to organise all things like the boys' biscuits and treats. I've also got like coffee pods. I've got, what else am I planning to organise? So much stuff, but this is mainly for food. I've then got these. Now, I already use ones very similar to this. The ones that I use at the moment are from Home Bargains, and I'll show you them in a second. However, they're all different sizes, and they're like three different sizes, and it really annoys me. So I just went out, picked up three of the same size. Then I picked up these from Home Bargains. Now, these come in multiple sizes. I've just picked up these, and I'm going to be using these to organise things like my rice, pasta, all little bits like that, and also my laundry cupboard as well. I love these because, I don't know how well you can see on here, but basically the pull top ring on here is great for like storing things and for the children not getting into them. So I feel like for dishwasher tablets and washing tablets, that's great. Then I also picked up this from Ikea. Now this probably won't go up in the video because Adam's gonna have to do this, but this is for your iron. I picked it up from Ikea, like I said, and this will probably just go in our laundry cupboard, but not only have I got all of this, I'm actually planning to make some big changes to the kitchen this year, and there'll be a lot of storage changes as well coming up over the next year as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that, but let me show you inside the cupboards now. So I'll start with this cupboard, and this cupboard I kind of called like the cupboard of doom. I'm going to take down like the majority of these certificates because they're Slimming World and I'm no longer doing that. Um, but in here I have bags because this came off the cupboard door when the builders were in there that's actually a carrier bag holder and um, the builders broke it so um that's in that cupboard because it wouldn't stay on my under cupboard under sink one then i've got glasses that don't fit in a cupboard anymore our microwave ignore the time it's saying it's 6 23 i don't know why um we've got our microwave our toaster loads of candles diffusers wax melts there's our knives behind there so they're out of the way for the children. And this is kind of where it goes a bit crazy in one of the areas I definitely need to sort. So in here I have got like more candles. I've got a chip cutter, a rice cooker, a blender, a cake tin, wax melts, more blenders, crock pot, slow cooker, a George Furman, a cake stand. I know I've got a kilner jar in there, a vase. There is so much stuff in there. So this cupboard 100% needs to be worked on. Then as we move across down here, this is another one that needs to be worked on. Um, again, in here, more packages. I've also got like loads of paperwork in this purple folder, but that can probably go up in my office. It probably doesn't need to be down here. A plastic tray for organizing things that I haven't sorted. I've got a pile of essential oils, a tape measure, and then this is kind of like our bits and bobs box, which again, I need to organize and make more streamlined. And it gets worse. I mean, all of my cupboards have kind of come to a disarray this year. As you come up here, we then have the craft and medicine box cupboard. Um, and this has just kind of gone to pot. This was really neatly organized. Medicine's at the top, crafts, a Clayton. It's just a mess, so I need to get rid of that. Coming down here, we have got a ton of cookbooks and I think I'm gonna get rid of some of them because we don't use them all. Down here I've got things like vases at the back and then there's our juices, the iron which I said I'm going to move. 
then we've got our drawers. These aren't too bad. I do need to organize these a little bit better, but they're okay for the time being. I do need to get rid of a few things. We've got that one. This one is quite neatly organized. There's really not much to this one. So this one could just probably do a cleaning out. And then we have this one, which again, has a ton of stuff in it. Needs to be sorted, just a bit of a mess. Moving over here, again, another cupboard. This was used to be neatly organized. I've just bought some more cereal. I didn't want to decant them into the boxes because I knew I was buying more stuff. Got this one, then got this cupboard. These ones are actually pull out things, which you can't really pull out. And again, loads of baking stuff in here. Like this whole one, I think is baking stuff that I just don't use. So that needs to go. Then as we move up here, more cupboards. They're just kind of a bit horrific really, aren't they? Um, this one's quite neat. This one's very neat in fact. And then you've got this one. Again, not too bad, but could be better. I think I need to get rid of some bits. This one, not too bad, but could be better. This one is just a mess. Uh, this one, not much in it. This one, again, a mess. And it's annoying because these were all really organized a couple of months ago. Okay, so I'm actually going to start over here in this cupboard, take everything out and then start filing stuff away where I want it to go. As you can probably see, I've actually already started using some of these containers and things like that. So um, I was using them for quite a while, but I've just gone out and purchased loads more. Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you. And just whilst I'm here, I also thought I'd mention that I'm normally over on my Instagram on a day-to-day -day basis sharing all general life things. So if you want to get to know me on a more personal basis, I share a lot of the average everyday mum stresses that people have with their children and the torment that they cause us at times, but also the good points, the highs, and just everything that goes on in my day-to-day -day life. And you'll be the first to know when I'm releasing a cleaning video over there as well. And when I'm filming them, you can see all the behind the stage and behind the camera type things over there so if you're interested in that then I'd love for you to come and follow me I have two accounts my main one is Ellis Sarah Smith so I will leave that linked on the screen but if you like home interiors I also have our Devon dream house and I'll leave that link below as well but I'd love for you to come on over and check me out over there and I'd love to get to know some of you on a more personal basis as I respond to every single message over there so if you ever want to get hold of me then just send me a dm
Do any of you guys start those projects, those type of things that you just instantly regret starting? I must say that doing my kitchen was one of those things that I instantly regretted as soon as I started it, knowing that I didn't have everything that I needed to completely finish it on the day. And you'll see that in a moment a bit later on in my video. But I feel so much better for tackling this kitchen now. Organization is key to me feeling stress-free and seeing how the end results are of my kitchen It'll be worth the wait to watch this, I tell you now. And I think I have mentioned this really briefly over here, but I suffer quite badly with anxiety. And last year I was um, actually officially diagnosed with OCD. Before that, I just thought I was a bit of a perfectionist and I just liked things in its place. However, filming this content for you is kind of a two birds, one stone thing for me. Not only is it my job and not only do I love filming this content, but in doing so, I get to put this out to you guys. I get to help you guys and motivate you, but I also get a clean, tidy, organized home myself. And filming stuff like this just motivates me to do that. So if you like these kind of videos and they really help you, then give this video a thumbs up because I'd love to know how many people this actually helps. Filming. I basically stopped filming my kitchen declutter with me and I was going through and I basically wanted to find a few more solutions that were a bit more effective. I think this is actually a couple of months later now because I ordered some bits, I had to wait for them to arrive which took a few weeks, then they sent a few of the wrong items so I had to wait for more bits to arrive, they sent me like the wrong sizes and then I had to wait for Adam to actually put them into the cupboards. But basically my kitchen is not big enough to hold a bin and I normally, if you've seen my cleaning videos, always have them on the back of my kitchen door. But I'm so over that and I don't like big bins. I like having little bin liners and taking them out daily instead of having one big liner that sits in here because that would probably sit in here for three, four, five days and the smell, I mean, I'm just not for that. So I went back to something that we had in a very old property of mine quite a few years ago, which was actually installing some bins inside our cupboards. We had this, I remember, in a property, in our first property that we owned back in 2013, and I remember taking them out because our kitchen was so small that the cupboard space wasn't effective enough. We needed that for storage. However, I've popped some bins into a cupboard and I've also done something else with another one of our cupboards, and I've added some additional like larder type racks this is gonna be so much better. So what you would have seen earlier on on me putting a lot of like tinned goods over in the cupboard are actually gonna be moved. So I'm gonna finish this video off today. There is stuff everywhere because we've pulled stuff out of the cupboard to put in these like racks and stuff like that and they don't currently have a new home because I need to get rid of a lot of stuff like blenders and juices and like I've got a rice cooker that I've never used that I might as well just sell. So there's going to be still a lot of decluttering, a lot of selling to do, and then in turn, that's going to make more space for new stuff, and everything's going to be a lot better. So I'm going to jump straight back in, carry on decluttering, but there's a lot more to do. <laughs> I'm going to quickly show you what I've done. So in here, this is not going to be how it looks, because I don't like the idea of there being chopping boards above where the bins are. However, I always prep food up here. 
So because I prep food on this work surface, it's so handy to have the bin here because when I'm finished, I can pull the bin out. And this is a way, basically I hate the recycling being stored on my side. So it always used to be stored over here until we could bring it out. But I literally purchased one of these. We've got our main rubbish bin, which fits a rubbish bag and then two recycling sections as well, which is gonna be perfect. And then above here, I'm gonna store some of like our bin liners and some other bits and bobs that like cleaning sort of stuff that it won't really matter if they're above a dirty bin. But the idea of like that being in there doesn't really appeal to me. So that's the first thing that we've done and I will link all these below for you. I just purchased these off of either eBay or Amazon, I can't remember which ones, but I will link them. One of them had quicker delivery, but was a lot more expensive. So I'm not quite sure which way round it was. And then over in this cupboard, now I'm really annoyed. My initial plan was to basically pop what's in this cupboard in this cupboard. However, this door won't open all of the way because of the radiator and the cupboard, so I couldn't do it. But in this cupboard, initially we had just this one shelf. Now this looks wonky, but it's something to do with the bracket. As soon as some weight's in it, I'll be fine. Um, but initially we just had one big shelf in the middle um and it was just a, a big waste of space so i've actually added these in and now i'm planning to put all of our tinned items in here which will be so much better all of our like everything basically i'm gonna pop in here all of our tinned goods and then obviously i've still got storage space up the top which i think i'll probably put like tea towels in or pans i'm gonna move a few bits around because this sure is like our pan one at the moment but it's been a bit of a mess recently and as you can see, a lot of the stuff that come out of that cupboard has just been popped in boxes or it's on the side. So I just need to give it all a big shuffle round. And I don't know whether you guys saw last time, but this is a bit of a mess as well. So all of this needs to be sorted out as well. Um, and then this cupboard, I'm not quite sure if I showed you this cupboard, still a mess. So obviously I'm planning to move around Clayton's Arts and Crafts and make this, some of this an Arts and Crafts cupboard for him. But yeah. And I also just wanted to point out two other things that I get asked about all the time. So the first thing is I've recently purchased this as well. Now this is a plug-in wall wax melt. And I basically purchased this recently and it now means I don't have to have it on my side. So my sides are completely clear in here, which I love. I'd spotted these ages ago and they kept going out of stock. And then I spotted this one and you just don't even really realize it's there. And another thing I get asked about all the time is this. Now this is my Amazon Echo and it's a dock. I purchased this off of Amazon and it just keeps it all up. It was super cheap. I think it was about 14 pounds, I wanna say. Um, literally, it gives you this really small wire and it just means you can keep it all out of the way. And I'm everything because I hate leads. I like really minimal work tops as you can probably see here. Even like the lead from our coffee machine came with a bright red lead. I don't know why. So I went out and got white electrical tape and taped it up because I just wanted it to blend a bit better. And if you saw red coming out of that, it would be a lot more of an eyesore. Um, but yeah, let's get cracking. Could you be the one to kill my sorrows? Kill my sorrows. Maybe one night you can play the hero. Even if I know it's only for show. There was a lot of stuff in there, as you can probably see up here on my work surfaces. Now, a lot of this was baking stuff, but I feel like I don't need this much baking stuff out. Like we've got trifle bowls, which we only really use at Christmas time. And there's a lot of baking stuff. So what I'm actually looking to do is I'm gonna make a box. I'm gonna go down to, go and get a plastic box from somewhere like B&M or something like that. And I'm gonna put all of my baking stuff in a box and pop it in the loft. And then that way it's really easily accessible for when I need it but it's not gonna clutter up these drawers because they're just taking up so much space and these can be put to so much better use than what they are at the moment. I'm also gonna get rid of all of our old plastic containers. So a lot of these are from Ikea with lost lids or pots or whatever it may be. And we recently went out and bought, oh gosh, a new bunch that aren't stained orange. So I'm gonna replace all of them so we've got more containers and Tupperware for food and stuff like that and they can all go and any old cups that we don't need, everything like that can all just be recycled or 
probably bring end up bringing them down to the tip to be recycled because there's so much of it. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. decluttered what we've got now i'm not actually going to put it back in the cupboard for the time being because i want to declutter the rest of the cupboard and figure out where i want everything to go so for the time being i'm just going to organize it all into little piles up here until mentally i know how i want it to look i'm thinking i may turn this cupboard into like more for the boys plates and bowls so i've got access to all of them really easily the tupperware pots lunch boxes and stuff um, but these bits over here could go back at the back of this cupboard because we don't really need them. They might actually be better in a cupboard over there. So I'm just going to figure it all out. degrees it's making me hot and he has the same effect on me it's just something about the way that he's making me feel my insides are out i just want to shout his name oh, my body's giving up on me because i don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, i want to run through his hair but i'm trying not to stare mm -mm. i get a little starstruck when i see him i couldn't hit Shaking from the urge of being with him I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run him through his hair But don't stare I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried Making me hot, and he has the same effect on me. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number up to nervous that I'm losing grip. And I also sorted out this drawer already off of camera, but another one of the items that I ordered was this organizer. Now I did have some in here from IKEA. However, this one is much better because it fits the actual whole distance of our drawer. And it has like these expandable compartments, um, which basically means you can kind of really squash them up and get a lot of space in here for what you need and I love the fact that it was a wood effect one so it matched my worktops 
and it just feels like a lot more robust and it has better compartments so it's more organized and you can get a lot more in it it just feels a lot safer for the drawers with my bigger cutlery pieces being over here Decided. I also think we have way too many arts and crafts but I love having lots of things in the house to keep the boys occupied so as I was going through this I was actually sorting them out so I made a kind of like pens crayons and all that type of thing box I then did like an arts and crafts box a paint box a play-doh box and there was also like a coloring book sticker activity box as well so all of this is sorted out so I can grab stuff really easy now and like I said organizing an organization is key and having easy access as well so as I'm going through this as well, I sorted out things like batteries into a box. We go through a ton of batteries in this house, which I'm sure any mum out there with kids can relate to because obviously kids go through so many batteries. So we go through them all the time. And likewise, I found that these boxes were really big and chunky. The plastic ones that I was using prior with the big clip locks. Now, I was using this for like security for our medicines, but the kids can't reach. Even if they grabbed a chair, they wouldn't be able to get on top of this cupboard. So it was really unnecessary. They were so thick and they just didn't make the most of the space that was there. So I'm so glad that I've switched these out. And sometimes it's these little things, these little changes that can just make so much more of the space. We don't have the biggest kitchen in the world, but we do have enough space to accommodate all this. And just by restructuring and making a few little changes, it can make a massive difference. Like I said, these boxes are just from Ikea and Home Bargains, so they're just really cheap boxes, but they make such a difference to the kitchen, and I can't wait for you to see the end result because our kitchen is looking so good, especially that end junk cupboard as well. Like, it's looking amazing now. Just need my time, yeah. 
sweet and you care about my night but i'm sobering up in this moment's past oh yeah i don't wanna be tucked in someone else's arms cause my heart just broke and i need my time wanna speak so loud even though i I'd love to know in the comment box below as well how many of you guys regularly declutter your kitchen. So like I said at the very beginning, I did this around Easter time last year and then I also did this again in January and went through a lot of our Tupperware pots and stuff like that. And obviously this is just what, five, six months later almost and I'm still finding a lot of stuff that I can get rid of. There's a lot of stuff that's just pointless and isn't being used. Do you guys regularly declutter? Let me know in the comments box below. And I'm also looking to trial a new style of decluttering in one of my upcoming videos as well. So if you like this sort of thing, then I would love for you to subscribe. And if you can hear any background noise right now, both of my sons are in bed, but my youngest one, Parker, who is one, is currently singing and shouting and screaming, whilst the other one, Clayton, who is four, is jumping out of his bed. So I'm gonna have to head on up there in a minute and tell them to get back in to their beds and behave and go to sleep. The joys of mum life and trying to work at the same time. Multitasking at its very best. Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the boat Thinking, whoa.
Okay, so this is what I've taken out of our kitchen. So all of this is like baking stuff. So I'm gonna pop this in a box and pop it up in the loft. These are spare boxes. Now I actually used the Ikea ones, which you would have seen me using the white ones. These have just such a big frame on them and such big lids that they take up so much space and don't actually get much in them because of how thick they are. So I've swapped out a load of those. So I'm probably just gonna sell these or maybe use them for storing stuff up in the loft. This is a whole pile of stuff for the tip. This George Foreman grill has been gone for a long time. Um, then I've got like bottles, glass jars, pans. It all just needs to kind of be chucked away and some more plastic and stuff that we need to sort out for recycling. And then all of this stuff is stuff that I'm gonna sell. So we've got, this is like a Heston, whoever he is, um, like proper juicer. We paid a ton of money for this um, years and years and years ago. So I'm gonna be selling that got some baking stuff some really nice like fondant stuff from next but we never use it i've got like loads of books so, like super juice book chocolate book a slimming world book so much stuff so i'm just gonna either charity shop them or sell them but yeah that's what i've gotten rid of so far and then i'm just going to show you the cupboards so this one is so much better i'm so chuffed with it so i've moved the microwave down here so when we moved in we actually had a plug socket popped in here so we could store stuff in the cupboard and offer the work surfaces because we don't have much space um we're not using the microwave we mainly use the microwave for obviously things like baby's bottles like sterilizing the bottles that we had and also for making milk but parker's not having that at all really at the minute anymore so occasionally they have warm milk and stuff like that and um, occasionally we might have a microwave meal or like a packet of rice but it's very very rare so this was just balanced on top of this and um, like the toaster and we were pulling the toaster out every time we used it but now we can just swap over the plug sockets um this is a soda stream i use this all the time um this is like a whole box of like wax melts and candles and stuff like that and there's our knives. I never have our knives on the side because I once heard that if you have your knives on the side, it's really easy for a burglar or someone that's like breaking in to obviously visibly see them. But if they're in a cupboard, you're the only person that knows where they are. <laughs> so that's that. Um, and then down here, I've got some coloring books of Clayton and then at the very back, some like um, other bits that we use, like um, just bits and bobs, arts and crafts. And then like a couple of summer bits, so like a kilner, dispenser type thing and another jug and um, so that one's a lot better and another little addition that i've just added is this little hook as well i've mentioned it earlier but completely forgot because i've been so busy literally just to hang up and air out my tea towel so that way it doesn't have to be like over my oven or on my sides and it can dry properly and be out of the way so everything is still minimal now this is the cupboard that I'm most chuffed about because it's literally just had one shelf in it which was in the middle and it was such a waste of space and none of our shelves that are higher up that we store food in over there are very deep. They're all quite thin and this is like the deepest part of our kitchen. Um, so it seems stupid to waste it. So all of our tinned goods are in here now. So I'm super chuffed with that. We've got so much room and we had so little storage before. Like this used to take up the entire cupboard over there. So now I can finally do proper food shops again and get a lot more in and just know that I've got them. And I literally just bought these off of eBay or Amazon again. I can't remember which one. They pull out like this. So much better. I was going to get another one for up there, but actually, I don't need any more space than this for the food because um, I still have cupboards. So I'm really, really chuffed with those. In the next cupboard, I've got some books at the back and then juices and oils and then Tupperware at the bottom. Now that's all been sorted out, it's so much easier to find. So I'm really happy with that. Up the top, up here, I have like more bubbles and stuff, Play Doh paint medicine and then in this one i have batteries because we go through batteries like anything and then in here i have like coloring pens it's all really easily accessible for what we need in and around the home and they're all really easy to grab this bottom drawer has been sorted out so much better now so um cheese graters i've got some chopping boards then some bits i don't really use but want to keep out it's like my slate stuff that i've had for ages and then pans likewise this one didn't need sorting out at all really it looks cluttered but it's not it's just pots and pans that we use and then this one has already been sorted out um a couple of weeks ago but it's just like bits and bobs again that we use all the time and like i said i got this off of amazon i think so i'll leave that link below for you this is the bin and literally all i popped in here is some baking 
um, like greaseproof paper, kitchen foil, some ice cube thingies and some bin liners. And then our bin, which again, I know I've shown you, but for recycling is fab. Then this cupboard is also so much better now. So I can pull this right out. It's literally got some of my baking bits if I do do a bit of baking and like ice lolly stuff. Some ramekins because I use this for like jelly with the boys or for like mini puddings and stuff like that. And all of their like screw top bottle lids that they use for school or for during the day are in there. And I love that this comes out like it just makes life so much easier. And then in the bottom, my slow cooker which I use very rarely. Oh well, yeah, very rarely. Blender, again, cake tin, um, mixer, and then more like flasky type bottles or cups that we don't use as often are on the bottom one. So that's that. And then we have the next cupboard. So this is the next one. This is where I keep the cereal. So again, I picked up these bits from Ikea. This was on Amazon and obviously this has just got all of my spices, really easy to get to, whatever I want. Um, I am gonna shuffle them about probably a little bit more because um, some of these I think may have gone out of date. I did declutter these literally a couple of weeks ago, so this is done quite a while ago, about two months ago when I started this video. Um, I did this part, however I can see that some of them have gone off since at the back. Um, oh, and this one here as well, February 2019. So there's quite a few of them, so I am still gonna get rid of a few of these and then organize them for like the ones that I use mainly at the front. Then, as you can see, we are in dire need of doing a food shop. And now I've got all that pantry space as well. Um, I can't wait to fill it up. But then obviously, cereal goes in here. And then any spare bits of cereal and some porridge bits are up the top as well. These cupboards are pretty much the same, apart from I've actually moved all the boys' plates and stuff in here instead of being in a separate one now. Again, this cupboard has stayed exactly the same minus me getting rid of a few mugs and bits this one's now changed so at the top we've got like snacks and goodies in the middle i've got all my baking stuff so flour icing sugar self-raising flour and something else i'm not quite sure what else i've got in there but i need to label all these up actually but that's kind of my next move and then in here we've got some serene and some like cheese bits these are just kind of like lunch snacky bits up this top one, we've got like all bacon stuff, beef stocks, vinegars, sprays, salts, all of, everything like that. And then bread, but we're out of bread at the moment as well. Like I said, food shop needed to be done. Now, in this house, we drink a lot of tea. And so we've got a whole batch of herbal teas here, hot and cold. In the middle, we've got more coffees and more teas. And then over here, we've got pods for our coffee machine as well. And I've just noticed as well, this still says January and not May. And then our very last cupboard is this one. This kind of all had a jiggle about since being able to move because this was, at the beginning of the video, you'd probably seen all pantry stuff and had a box in here. This has now been moved. So my Cambridge stuff is at the top. My kind of like dried pastas and rices are in the middle with spares just behind them. And then I've also got some raisins and dried apricots. And then because our kettle is now down here, um, I've managed to get all of our tea and coffee just above it, which I always like to work so that everything is where it needs to be. So near the kettle, I like to have teas and coffees, which is why they're there. Um, near the oven, I like to have like cooking stuff. So that's why the spices are there. And just kind of being near the prep area because obviously it just makes everything easier. So that is my minimize and declutter my kitchen with me and organizing all of my kitchen with me video completely finished. Obviously it needs to have a good clean still. Um, it's a little bit dirty from doing all of this, but this has been like a long process as I mentioned halfway through. I started, then I had to stop and restart and it's taken me all day today to actually get this done. I was working solidly from like 10 until like 10 to three. Then I popped out for a little bit with Clayton, we went to like soft play and then I've been back working on it again. So I've been nonstop, but I'm so happy with the result. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. The only thing that I haven't decluttered is under my kitchen sink. I will link to a video that I did last year. However, I plan to do another one because builders have been in and out and they've been massively making a mess of underneath my kitchen sink recently because of my sink. And um, so I plan to do another one of those. If you like this video, then I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. I'm also going to be decluttering my wardrobe soon as well. So if you want to see that and the toy cupboard and under the sink, then I'd love for you to subscribe. And I will see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye guys. You got me thinking, whoa, I don't know how we got here. Oh my, I think we better run. We ought to leave this place tonight. I'm telling you.